uh, Chita Kapta, founder and CEO of Equalbot, and Arthur Emdor. Okay. Quick little investment advice uh, for all the investors that are out there. Um, since we are in Switzerland, if you make an investment tonight in any startup, you pay no U.S. capital gains taxes. It was confirmed by Stephen. And I, I turned it to Trump and he said, Art, your plan is phenomenal. So we are good. We are good to go. Free, uh, free investment advice for tonight. So, so we will go over uh, uh, explaining what the product is uh, and then we'll do a quick demo on what it is. Um, like how, how does it work? Yeah. Yeah, so as, um, as someone who's worked in the investment management industry for over 10 years, I can say uh, unequivocally that the uh, financial sector, investment management in particular, is, uh, it, it's, it's very prevalent that uh, there's a lot of inequality, uh, both, both socially and financially. And in fact, um, my previous employer has taught me politely to tell investors um, in a hundred different ways that they do not have enough money, right? But today isn't, isn't talking about giving access uh, to information um, and, and creating a level playing field for people who have $10,000 to a million dollars. This is about the access to information and the best investment opportunities. It was actually uh, David Swenson, portfolio manager of the Yale Endowment who said you cannot invest like Yale because you do not have access to the same information and the same investments that we do. Well, Mr. Swenson, I think you are wrong with all due respect. And so what we are doing is we are bringing those strategies that have been reserved for the top 1% of the top 1% to everyone. We're creating a level, a level playing field. And I'll let you talk a bit about how we're, we're doing that exactly. Yeah, so, so um, our platform is not for the day traders, rather we can do it even. So what we do is that we go back to very fundamental analysis. We look at all the common equities out there, and we look at the basic uh, premise of their uh, finances. And we look at everything, like the calls of our sales, and it was everything, and we create a model for uh, those companies. And we essentially try to find the opportunity exist in each of the, uh, com in the equity market. Uh, we apply machine learning on top of that uh, so that we uh, our models get much better. And also, what we do is uh, we try to find out okay, there is opportunity exist. What is the right time you can get into that opportunity and you can uh, you can get benefit out. So that's essentially the the uh, the equipment model that so that the engine that is running behind it. Uh, so the, this all this information is available to anybody, any individuals who want to uh, use our platform, to invest in the invest or build portfolio uh, and get benefit out of it. So we have, a, 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 right now, a, we use machine um, learning and uh, right now we are uh, one of the IBM global entrepreneur. Uh, IBM also put money in our, uh, on us. Uh, we use a lot of Python Watson, TensorFlow, and uh, our proprietary IP. And also uh, the fact that uh, uh, if you see our uh, uh, common market, the stock market right now, uh, there is a higher level correlation. We could able to uh, the data that we are processing, uh, all the data that we are mining. We could do a lot better correlation than we used to do much better before. Uh, so we have we have uh, our product. There are we are two we are uh, going to different strategy for our product. Uh, there are two different products. First is uh, uh, we are launching an ETF fund, uh, probably in a couple of months. Uh, uh, this ETF will be trading at an NYSE. Uh, so the ETF will be algorithmically uh, uh, based on our finance and AI. Uh, it will be available to any Swiss investors or any any individual. Actually, ETF anybody can buy ETF and use that. And the other one is uh, an app uh, for anybody. Uh, uh, if you give it your preference, personal preferences with minimum number of clicks, you can create a portfolio for you, and we can uh, we can give you multiple ways to uh, create it uh, based on uh, the data that we have. Uh, we have formulated. Talk about competitions like uh, what, what are the competitions? Yeah. So uh, as far as the, uh, the the competition goes, um, you're probably thinking, well, how is this any different from like Wealthfront or, or Betterment, right? Well, those portfolios are uh, a 
little bit more simple. It's a you know very kind of structured multi-asset class portfolio with, with beta. And these strategies have been around for a very long time. I think it was created model portfolio theory you know, back in the 60s or 70s. Uh, what we're talking about is something very sophisticated, right? Um, and there, there are not uh, any firms out there, at least startups go, that are, are using these strategies. Um, and the, as far as kind of the top firms go, whether you're um, talking about a, a D Shaw or a Two Sigma or a Renaissance Technologies, no one really knows because uh, it's all a black box, right? And unless you have hundreds of millions of dollars, and actually in uh, Renaissance Technologies um, case, uh, it doesn't matter how much money you have, you can't get into that fund. So we are, we are really trying to democratize um, bringing access to the best investment insights and strategies to everyone. Uh, yeah, and uh, we both are from Haas School of Business. Actually, that is where it started. Uh, and we are a professor and uh, one of our advisors uh, on this uh, venture. Uh, and again, as I said, the IBM Global Entrepreneur is one of the, uh, uh, one of the investors over there. Uh, so, so asking all of you guys, is, uh, our product is be launching pretty soon. So sign up over there if you got that AI. Uh, I'll just quickly show uh, uh, the, how the uh, or, like uh, this very early version of it. So uh, every day uh, it creates and uh, uh, we like we look at all the data to uh, to uh, to see uh, uh, what kind of portfolio. Uh, Just want to let you guys know you're past your five minutes into oh, your okay. Q and A. Yeah, so uh, uh, so it, it creates a portfolio uh, uh, based on the opportunities out there, and also uh, uh, we have an app uh, which we are right now doing a better testing of it. Uh, we will be soon launching it. So we look at uh, the the finance, uh, the current financial of the company, the core values of the company. Then we uh, 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 using our own app, uh, uh, proprietary algorithm, we evaluate it. And, to see the opportunity and uh, we can get portfolio based on that. So go to equal.com and sign up, please. And with that, we'll uh, answer any questions. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Yeah, hands up high. Yeah. Um, you guys uh, developed this application, um, and have you tested the returns you get on portfolios that you're recommending? In other words, are you outperforming the market? And if you are, why go this route and not just start your own hedge fund? So let, 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 me, let me answer the, the hedge fund thing first, okay? Because, you know, the whole purpose here is to give access to, to everyone, right? Um, and it's to be transparent for what we're doing. And in the hedge fund industry, if that is, uh, that is a, a, a slowly dying um, industry. In fact, the only uh, strategies that are actually working right now are the quant funds, right? And there, um, there's a lot of scrutiny about, about hedge funds just in general. So what we're trying to do is there's no reason why we and you and everyone else in this room shouldn't have access to the best investment strategies uh, that are out there. Uh, as far as performance goes, um, if you want to learn more about that, go to equalbot.com. So, yeah, yeah we, 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 we do perform. Uh, we have that, the sound of simulations, yeah, we are definitely doing much better. Yes. You're beating the S&P. Yes, definitely. Assuming that that's our benchmark. Yeah. <laughs> go to our website and find out more. <laughs> What's your output? Uh, again, like, uh, uh, we, are, uh, we are still doing on the sound of lesson that on different scenarios, uh, we get different kind of values. So, yeah, please. Uh, uh, again, like this is uh, in the process of development. We, uh, yeah, please sign up. We can give you more information on that. <laughs> yes. Oh. So have a microphone. Oh yeah. So um, you pull the number from financial statements. Is that correct? Basically. Yes. We we, we, we so, source multiple sources. Yes. Yeah, so financial statements can be like very aggressive, but they can be very conservative, right? There's no. There. It's like very much like a an art form. How people. Like put them together. But the point is, it's very difficult to model what you're saying, like you're modeling, right? And so, I guess the question is, like, you know, like, like how 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 certain can you be that it's very very good? It's a good question. Yeah. yeah. So um, our our thing is based on the uh, mix of traditional models and the and the models of that uh, people recently have been developing, and we are kind of mixing multiple sources of model and try to combine things together. Like this year, the student income, all those kind of models are looking at it. And we are applying on top of that machine learning so that uh, 
uh, as you go along, it gets better. Uh, uh, so far, the kind of correlations we are seeing, okay, okay, what we are predicting and what we are seeing it, we are seeing a much better uh, correlations on one to one basis. And also, it actually on an aggregate basis. So that's the goal, like to optimize and aggregate on the whole US market. We see a much better correlations in terms of the prediction that we are doing. And as, as, as time goes by, it is a, it's very much a learning algorithm. It learns over a period of time, and we see uh, it, it, the model gets better day by day. Thank you. Quick question. What are the parameters that you're using to come up to construct the portfolio? Because one, you know, one might be suitable for one investor versus the other. Uh, yeah, so um, suitability is, is uh, individually uh, determined. As far as kind of suitability goes, right now we are, we are running this only on U.S. publicly traded equities. So this, currently, this wouldn't be something that someone would put their entire portfolio into, right? I mean, you need to have other asset classes like bonds and cash and, and so forth and have an emergency, emergency funding and those kinds of things. Um, so as, as far as the strategy right now, it's optimized for the, the individual securities that we think are the best currently. It's not necessarily tailored individually. However, uh, since we looked at the app, that is something that we're doing. So for example, if you're the uh, director of, uh, of IBM and you're in selling windows and so forth, we're going to be able to put those kinds of things in there. All right, we we'll have to have one more here. Somehow it, it sounded like an arbitrary opportunity. So don't you think down the line when you guys are really, you know, trading in volume, the market will be much more commoditized. Many people will use the same thing and you will probably will not be able to beat the S&P as much as you are doing right now. As you know, your technology is really good, which I am quite sure it is. <laughs> so the, the efficient market theory is, is, is not a new thing. Right. So, uh, uh, but still, is market efficient? No. Right. So uh, we are move, pushing it, definitely pushing it. But the market is big. So the opportunity, so we believe the opportunity will be there. That this opportunity will be continue to be there. Right. So, yeah. So the um, the best portfolio. There's not a lot of portfolio managers that can beat the market, right? But the best portfolio managers that that, that do beat the market, they're running hedge funds. And they're using, um, computer, you know, advanced computer models and mathematics to do it, and that's exactly what we're attempting to do here. So, so the philosophy of efficient market theory is that all the information is available to everybody all the time, right? So, uh, so uh, in, in theory, it's not, it's not possible. So, even if we, uh, yeah, even if we try to move the, uh, our needle to that direction, we can never be 100% efficient. Right, so the arbitrage opportunity will be always there in the foreseeable future. All right, we're out of time. Thank you, Bob. Thank you so much.